Okay, I'm going to make a quick video here, which is going to be the wrap-up video of the um, quadcopter shootout, the DJI F450 versus the budget 450 clone. Now we're going to start out with the clone. Um, again, we have a copy of a DJI fl a Flame Wheel F450. This is the Whirlwind FY450, and I don't remember exactly where I bought it. But I think it was about $17 for the frame. The uh, motors I've recently changed from the little Hobby King 2210 1000 KVs uh, swinging 9 inch props to the Hobby King DT700 motors with 11 inch props. And I will say that it does fly a lot better with those. Um, it hovers at a lot lower throttle and it's got a lot more lift power. So uh, I'm going to stick with those on this quadcopter. I'm using the Hobby King KK 2.0 controller board. So far that's worked pretty well. The only modification I've done to this, well first I had to zip tie the motors on because I don't know if you've tried any of these motors, um, these bell motors, but the mounting plates are just, the, they're, there's never any holes that line up. So anyway, I've got some extensions here on the, um, the landing legs so I can mount my battery underneath and I've got this plexiglass or Lexan battery bay or a battery mount on the bottom that is mounted on quarter inch surgical tubing and it's got a lot of vibration dampening I also have velcro on the front for the GoPro and you've seen some GoPro video uh, flying with this quadcopter and it really works fine. So when all is said and done, um, I started out to build a $125 quadcopter, everything except the transmitter. That's gonna be, that was going to be the, the entire airframe with the receiver and everything. I almost did that. Um, I think I got it about $140 ish for everything, maybe $135 to $140. Um, now do I recommend doing that you know actually I probably do if this is your first quad and you want to get into this or you want to build a beater uh, fun flyer I'm going to say that this is probably um, a, a definitely a flyable quadcopter it's a, it's a doable project and probably worth the money I'm going to keep it I'm going to fly it I'm going to learn to flip on it I'm going to do a uh, uh, a couple of things that I've been wanting to do that I didn't want to destroy my more expensive airframes on. So um, yeah, I can, I'm going to put the parts list in the... Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put the parts list down in the description below. And uh, so if you want to build one of these, you can do it. I'll try to find the, this particular frame or one uh, similar to it. Now moving on to the F450 with some additional mods here. Again, a quick look at what we have here. The stock DJI F450 frame. This has the stock DJI 2212 920 kV motors. I'm spinning APC 10 by 38 props. Although I do have some of the new DJI 10 by 38 props that are supposed to be pretty good on the way. It has the DJI Opto uh, 30 amp ESCs, the stock DJI ESCs. It has the NASA M with the GPS and uh, compass built in. I've uh, removed my cheapo um, receiver and put an AR7000 with my diversity antenna, the satellite going up and down here. On the back I've got my BEC for the NASA. I've got this monster landing gear installed on here. And for video, and I've installed a very cheap PVC camera mount. It's actually one of my landing skids for my quadcopter. I've got a bunch of those cut. 
and I just rubber banded it on these um, fiberglass tubes and I hung my GoPro off of it. It doesn't work all that well. I get a little bit of jello. Um, but what I did is I ordered um, a two axis gimbal for this and it's not arrived yet. So that's an interim mount until I get the, the gimbal installed. Underneath is my Fat Shark 5.8 gigahertz transmitter. So there you have it. That's the DJI 450. Um, I've been flying it quite a bit. I cannot tell you how much I like that NASA controller compared to everything else. Uh, now I haven't flown the APM 2.5 I think it is, which is supposed to be another pretty good controller. It's a whole lot less expensive than the NASA. And I'm probably going to go ahead and pick one of those up just to try it out. Um, I'm always experimenting with other stuff. But for the most part, when I get my gimbal on here, this is going to be done. This is going to be my go-to camera platform. Um, it flies great. It's fun to fly. Uh, I just like it. FPV is really, really cool. So if you um, have flown quads for a while and you're looking something for, uh, and you're looking at something for FPV or a camera platform, uh, this is a good quad to go with. Um, it's fairly inexpensive. Really, most of the money is going to be tied up in the flight controller. So other than that, you've got a couple of hundred dollars worth of parts, um, but your flight controller is what's going to cost you the most money. So um, I guess in, uh, in wrapping this up, for the money, the F450 with the NASA is awesome. But if you're on a budget or you just want a beater quadcopter, this build right here is perfectly capable of flying, carrying a camera, FPV. Uh, you're going to be missing some of the automation, or you're going to be missing sort of some of the um, features that the NASA has with the GPS and the compass and all that stuff. But really, if you're just flying around um, and you're not going really, really far, you don't need to return to launch and all that good stuff, uh, GPS hold. This is a, a good quad to go with. So anyway, thanks for watching this series. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll answer them. If you have any more uh, ideas for something else that you want to see, uh, feel free to post that in the comments also. I'll do what I can to get videos on that and help anybody any way I can. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, take it easy. Bye.